Good morning. It is about 75 degrees outside with about a 96% humidity. I'm preparing to smoke this pork shoulder. It's about four pounds. I've already prepared it. Uh, I put a rub on it. As you can see, I'm using the just an off-the-shelf Grillmates sweetened smoky rub. And uh, another thing I'm going to be doing is uh, after discussion with my esteemed son-in-law who is uh, a, an expert smoker that lives about 1200 miles away from me. I spoke with him and uh, about the pros and cons of using or not using the water pan in this smoker. So he suggested that I use apple juice. So uh, that's what I'm going to use in the water pan is some apple juice rather than water. And that way it'll, uh, as it steam rises from the apple, it'll infuse that into the meat. The smoker that I use is a Dynaglow. It's a propane smoker. It's uh, pretty much inexpensive as smokers go. I think I paid 150 bucks for it. I used it for about a year and I've had good success with it. Uh, there's a learning curve as with everything, but uh, I think I've pretty much dialed things in. So right now I'm going to preheat that smoker and in about 20 to 25 minutes uh, when the sun comes up, I'm going to throw this baby on. Now the other thing that I use is I pre-soak my wood chips in, uh, I'm using hickory smoke chips and I pre-soak those and uh, I'm about ready to go. Okay, I'm about to put this meat in. Um, what I'm shooting for is a temperature of about 250 degrees to, to smoke this at. Again, this is uh, your run-of-the-mill pork shoulder, Boston butt, whatever you want to call it. It's about four pounds. Um, and um, I use three thermometers, two to kind of uh, give me a good uh, reference as to what the internal temperature uh, of the smoker is and then one for the meat and uh, so the uh, the uh, smoker is ready it's a little hotter than I'd like but uh, I'm going to adjust that down and ride it and here we go so it's about sunrise. So once I get this uh, temperature settled in at around 250, it will take about eight to 10 hours probably to completely smoke this. I'm shooting for a temperature of 205 degrees internally. That'll uh, break down all the tissue and you'll have a great pulled pork. Well, we're about an hour in to the uh, cooking time. Smoke is pouring out, which is good. And the temperature has stabilized pretty well. I was shooting for 250, but I'm happy where it is. And this is why I don't trust the thermometers that are on the actual smoking unit, uh, which is, it comes with it. Uh, this indicates a temperature of about 268 degrees I would say when I'm actually running around 253 so 15 degrees off is considerable you know giving you a temperature reading that's really not true well after nine and a half hours the meat finally reached its internal temperature of 205 degrees and I've got to say as you can see this is fall off the bone, incredible. This was my first ever attempt at smoking a pork shoulder roast. And I gotta say, I nailed it. I guess you can write that off to beginner's luck. You can call it anything you want. I'm okay with that. 
just don't call me late for this dinner.